Okay, so I made it to the Cisco set. Where do I go now? Hello? I, I think you're breaking up. Hello? I can't hear you, hello? Ugh, I need an upgrade. Whether it's your fashion sense or your technology, it's important to be up to date to avoid simple inconveniences. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we're gonna show you how to update your firmware on your Cisco Business Wireless next. A software update ensures that both the primary AP software and software on all the associated subordinate APs are updated. Newly joining APs will be upgraded to the current version of the software running on the primary AP. The software download happens in the background without impacting the network. The upgrades are automatically sequenced to ensure that the network performance is not impacted by software update. The software of up to three access points can be concurrently updated. First up, we'll need to download the software from the Cisco website. Go to software.cisco.com and then scroll down and select wireless. Choose business 200 series access points and select the business 240AC access point. The latest version reads 10.4.1.0. We'll download that file by pressing the blue icon. For the mesh extenders, navigate back to the website. Under wireless, pick business 100 series mesh extenders. Choose the appropriate model, 141, 142, or 143. Once the files are downloaded, check the file. It should say cbw-bundle-10-4-1-0. Right click and extract this file. We should see more files pop up. The AP1 G5 CapWeb file is for the mesh extenders, and this AP1 G5 file is for the access points model. We can update the CBW AP software using the primary AP's web interface. Current configurations on the primary AP will not be deleted. Navigate to the access points. We need to log into the primary AP access point. Navigate to the Management tab and choose Software Update. You'll get a notification that says Update Wireless Mesh Extender before updating the master AP. Right now, those mesh extenders are connected on the access point. We can see there is a primary AP master capable showing. There is a mesh extender connected to it. We'll go back to the Software Update page and we'll enable the mesh extenders. We'll see a notification that reads, Wireless mesh extender image file name should be ap1g5-capweb. Select the file by clicking Browse. Enter the folder, select that file, and click Open. Click Update. We'll get a notification saying Master is going to initiate the image pre-downloaded process now. If any scheduled update is configured, it will be canceled. Click OK. It will show the firmware update in progress. There are three steps. One, HTTP code transfer from mesh extenders starting, where we'll see percentage rising. Two, triggered mesh extenders to image pre-download. Three, pre-download completed from mesh extenders. Proceed updating image for master AP. All steps should be checked in order to proceed. There are a few transfer methods we can use to update the firmware. HTTP, TFTP, SFTP, Cisco.com, or CBD-HTTPS. For this example, we'll use the HTTP method. Now we'll disable this mesh extender image and select the transport mode as HTTP. This version is showing 10.3.1.0. Next, we'll upgrade the AP firmware. This is the Cisco Business Wireless 240AC. Browse that file. That is AP1G5. Click Open, then Update. We'll get the same notification from last time, so just click OK, and that will start the process. Then there are three steps. HTTP code transfer starting, triggered APS to image pre-download, and Master AP will be reset after all access points are updated. Once they're done, 
the AP will automatically restart. To make sure it does, scroll down and see the Auto Restart box is checked. After it's done, log in to the Master AP. The Master AP page should appear. We can see the current firmware version is showing us 10.4.1.0. This is how we can upgrade to firmware in Cisco Business Wireless, Mesh Exchanger, and Access Point. And we're not done yet. There are other methods we can perform to get the same results. One is selecting the TFTP for transfer mode. For this, we'll need to provide TFTP IP address and our file path where this firmware file is located. We also have the option to schedule the update. If we select SFTP mode, we need to enter the IP address details first, then port number. By default, it will be 22. We need to specify the file path where the firmware file is located, then username and password. We also have the option to schedule the update under SFTP mode. We can also select Cisco.com. Make sure automatically check for updates is enabled. We'll have the choice to disable if you'd like. You can also see the last software update. The process does take a moment. Once it's done, it will show when the last time the software check was done. Currently, latest software release is showing up to date. The last method, CBD-HTTPS, can be done if the Cisco Business Wireless is connected to the Cisco Business Dashboard. We need to select the appropriate action in the Cisco Business Dashboard to upgrade the firmware on this CBW access point. These are the methods we can use to upgrade the firmware in Cisco Business Wireless access points. Doesn't it feel better to be up to date? Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.